Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I've had pretty rough few days. Couldn't get comfortable no matter what I did. I'm not liking this broken bone stuff. Don't think I'm gonna do this again. Wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Was wanting to get on here and do a video, but the laptop won't do it. I can't get it. It locks up. Just locks up. So I wasn't able to. But uh, managed to get downstairs this morning. And uh, want to just visit with you guys. I brought my coffee. Well, I didn't bring it. I couldn't carry it downstairs. I can't even hardly get myself downstairs. It's two flights of stairs that I have to go down to get down here. And, uh, oh, what a booger. What a booger. Not liking it, guys. Not liking it at all. You know, I spent uh, time, I, I haven't been able to uh, answer a lot of comments and, and stuff like that either. Because the laptop that I'm using... I'll be typing along and I'll get part of a sentence and it'll throw me somewhere in the middle and continue typing. It's, it, oh, it's just a mess. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's me or the laptop. Could be me. Could be me. But I don't like laptops. Don't like it. I got a whole bunch of don't likes this morning. I don't like what I read in the news. Got that little boy that fell, the two-year-old in the zoo. All these big people, you know, adults around, including his mother. Nobody jumped in to save this little stinker. Nobody. Oh, I'll tell you what. What's happened to people that they don't... They don't have that humanity, that fire, that courage... I mean, my gosh, if I was there and a child fell in, I don't care whose child it is, I'd jump in to save that child. Those wild dogs, I mean, they'd have a fight on their hands. They might chew me up, spit me out, but by golly, that child would be covered by my body. I'd save that child. Poor little baby. Boy, I'm back east. Becky's, what, you know, they have more storms coming, predicting more storms. And uh, they, I, I read where FEMA has already run out of water and uh, people are needing food and warm stuff and, oh gosh. You know, we're a big nation, big nation, a lot of people, a whole lot of people. For the life of me, I can't see how these people should run out of anything. Where's our truckloads? Where's everybody, you know, load up a pickup? Why aren't we? Why aren't we? Oh, I hear you. Money. It is a money thing. We have uh, Carol, one of our YouTubers, here. One of our YouTube family. She's uh, she's in a terrible pickle. Just a terrible pickle. And uh, she's come on and asked for help. I'm going to put her link down below. I don't know how many of you guys know her. She has... Uh, she's been around for quite a while. And... Uh, She's been really big on informing us of stuff that's going on and things that are happening in our world. And uh, I can't think of her YouTube name now. Isn't that funny? Just can't think of it. I'll put it in the description bar. But she's being forced out of her place and because of a stroke and some terrible things that happened. She used to be a lawyer. 
used to be a lawyer. And uh, due to strokes and other events that took place in her life, she lost her job and was forced on going, forced to go on disability. And I'll tell you, just from, from our point of view, from my husband being on disability, it's not enough to live on. Not with prices the way they are and cost, your fuel, your everything. You just, you, you can't do it. You can't live on it. That's a fact. So anybody that lives on it, they live very meager. Sorry, guys, trying to get my leg comfy. Oh. Another person that I want to talk about on here is GV Loan Guy. He, uh, he's fighting cancer and he's having a terrible time. Thought he had it beat once. You know, he was winning the battle. Well, that stuff come back with a vengeance. And uh, insurance cut him off. And you know, isn't that funny how insurance works? I remember years ago, uh, I had paid into my insurance for a long time. Never, ever used it. Never had a reason to. But boy, every month, I'm telling you, my payment was in there, Johnny, on the spot. Then the one time that I needed it, they refused. Something up with that. Something up with the insurance system. Some of them are not exactly kosher. GV guy can't get help with this medical treatment that he needs. And as I said, the, the cancer has come back with a vengeance. So he's put out a plea for help here on YouTube. That takes a lot of, lot of, uh, I want to say balls. You know, excuse me, guys. But it does. It, it, it takes a lot of swallowing your pride to get on a video and beg for help. These people, I admire them. Carol, GV Guy, I really do. That they can get on here and say, please guys, I need help. I hope you guys check out the links. And I hope if any of you are setting financially able, that you can help. Because that's who we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be helpers. We're supposed to take care of one another. People of New York, New Jersey, Staten Island, nobody there should be in a bad way. Tell you, if I was closer, they'd be welcome to stay at my home. I'd help in any way I could. Granted, I don't have any money, but I've got food. I'd cook them a good meal. I'd give them a blanket and a pillow and shelter. I'd share whatever I've got in my closet that they would need. And I think you guys would too. We're a special community. Special people. Hi, honey. I'm getting a refill here. That's the only good thing about this broken leg and ankle. I'm getting spoiled and I'm loving it. I'm loving every bit of it. Got breakfast in bed yesterday. Breakfast in bed. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, we are special. We're special people. You know, the, the government's a mess. Our world's a mess. And we can change that. We can change that. We have this power that we don't use. It's not a weapon. It's not doubling up our fist and going to battle. It's much, much more powerful than that. We got to find it within ourselves. It's energy and it's 
wisdom and the power of mind that we used to use. We really did. You know, the human now is down to about an eighth, I think it is, quarter and an eighth of their brain, whatever it is, that we use. Man, if we tap into the rest, which geniuses and a, and a few people are capable of doing, you tap into the rest and you start expanding your abilities. It's amazing, absolutely amazing what we can do. Times are changing. The humans are changing. DNA is changing. Polar shift. Our universe. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. Anything can happen. But you have to be open to it. You have to believe. You have to have this faith and the know. We should all be standing up. There's not one family that should have to worry or be afraid. Fear is, is a brick wall. It's a titanium wall. If you're fearing anything, if you're afraid of the government, if you're afraid of storms, if you're afraid, 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 you got a titanium wall where no good energy can come through at all. And they want you that way. They want you afraid. They've programmed us to be afraid for years and years and years. Be afraid of the unknown. Be afraid of the government. Be afraid of the black helicopters. Be afraid. And when we're afraid, we can't function to our full capability. We can't fix a thing. Got to get past that fear. To you dads and you fathers and you men out there, every woman owes you an apology. The 70s were a mess. You know, the, the liberation of women, it's not the way it was supposed to be. They went out there and they burned their bras and they wanted to be equal with men. Man was given a special duty, a special title. And when women did that, you know, they, they had their special title too. A lot of these prepper women know what I'm talking about. There is a special title to being a woman and a special title to being a man. And in the 70s, when that got split and women went after the man's title, men just kind of set back. They were kind of knocked down. And uh, it's hurt us. It's hurt us terribly. It really has. Men should be taking care of their families. Women should be supplying for their family. We need to go back to our original roles the way it was supposed to be. Women put those bras back on. Don't burn those suckers. That was a big mistake. That movement was created by the dark side. They wanted it. They wanted to d divide and destroy the family unit. By God, they've almost done it too. They've almost done it. Family's not what it's supposed to be. Women, you are supposed to be subservient to your husbands, and that doesn't mean take beatings or anything like that. But uh, care about your husband. That's your job. You know, he goes out and works all day and from the sweat of his brow, and he comes home beat up and tired. His dinner should be ready. Rub his back if it's hurting. You know, Take his shoes off. Kiss his forehead. Kiss the crown of his head. The crown. Crown's a very important place. That's why it's called a crown. Go back to our roles. Oh, yeah. Women have to work today. But, you know, work on a part-time job so that you can still take care of your family the way you're supposed to. That works. It works for many. 
Your children are running the streets, getting in trouble, failing in school, no direction. They need you, Mom. They need you. And they need their dads to be setting an example. we got to bring stuff back the way it's supposed to be if we're going to fix our country. K-I-S-S, my friends, K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, sweetie. Pull away from this hard-nosed behavior and who's going to be the strongest, who's going to be the best. The division. The division. We are one. We're one. That's all I wanted to say. I hope it makes sense. hope it makes sense because this election, from here on out, we better be ready to uh, take care of each other. we got to go back to being who we're supposed to be. Look in that mirror. Look into your eyes. Who am I really? You're not this body. You're not this body. Listen to yourself. You know what's right. Follow the code. The code of humanity. Of love. It is all about love. Great big hugs. Much love. Keep smiling. K-I-S-S. -S. Catch you guys later.